You may have seen Dragon's Den, you may have seen The Apprentice, but you haven't yet seen the make-off here at Vision West Nottinghamshire College in association with Hass. The main objective is to really help you guys enjoy engaging in our industry which a lot of us older ones around the building today have uh, made quite a nice living out of and quite an enjoyable living out of. So um, we want to show you that there really is quite a good career path, not necessarily in the old traditional manufacturing route. So, I don't know how much you've been told about today, but this is how it's going to go. You're effectively going to bring your brains together and um, create something uh, unbelievably stupendous, probably life-changing for millions of people around the globe, who knows. And by the end of today, that idea that's come out of your brain, the winning team is going to go down to the Haas machine with the five-axis unit, press a button and we will make the component that you have decided to design. So I'm working with group number one at the moment, which is a combination of uh, HND learners and full-time learners. So I joined the group and they'd already come up with the initial concept, so it was just a case of expanding on that. Um, they were talking about a unique selling point that they can incorporate into the product. So the group have worked well together. Um, individual ideas have all come together to contribute to produce a, a final design. I'd probably suggest they're, they're ready to, to come up with that final design. We've already started looking at dimensions uh, and how that would be potentially caddied up. We've got our own mentor here, Giovanni Alvanese. Now, what group are you looking after, Gio? Number two. And um, what is the challenge that your team have got ahead of them? I think it's designing something that can be sold in the mainstream market. I think that's the biggest challenge and also the restrictions they've got with the machine tool and the tools, but ultimately it's creating a, a concept. So the, 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 the final design that they come up with today may change. Right, okay. And what's impressed you with the team members? I was really impressed to be honest. There was three different designs that were put to me straight away and each one um, was really good so it was really difficult to actually choose or, or for them to decide which one to go with. I think that the, the advice I gave them really was what was more mainstream, what was more sellable. Um, some, some designs were brilliant but probably wouldn't lend themselves to, to mainstream sales um, and then some of the designs which were also really innovative designs and I could, I could see them being sold on your channels but um, that they weren't achievable to machine today. So we want with one that was innovative but could be machined today as well. Any teasers as to what we might be seeing? Or well, I, think it, I think it's a great design. I think we could, I could actually buy one myself. So it's actually, I, I won't give it all away, but it's a, it's, it's a special mount that's a modular and universal mount that can be put onto a bike and helmet, um, a, a tripod. Um, to, to mount your iPhone or different camera devices um, for when traveling or anything else. So really good, innovative design. Not giving too much away there, is he? Neil, within your group, what have you noticed that's kind of stood out for you so far? Um, probably the realization that they're trying to find a product that they can manufacture, that they can actually look at selling. So that's been, for me, the key element, that they're not just coming up with a, a you know, a, a sort of stupid ideas, but, you know, unsensible ideas, but the fact that they're coming up with something that they can probably take to market at a later date, which for me was, was good. Some of the complexities of what they were looking at, um, I thought was a bit challenging in, in the time frame that we've got. So we've tried to simplify it to something that's, that's a lot easier to manufacture. And any ideas that you think actually stood out and you're like, yeah, that's going to work? And yeah. I've got an idea or they think they've got an idea but whether you want me to tell you or not it's a different story. Can you just tell me where your group are at the moment? Uh, doing well, pretty, they got a good design. Uh, the main thing I, I suggested was that they actually customise it, uh, not customise it but beef it up a little bit, you know, make it a little bit jazzy for the sake of it. Um, tell me what the product is that you're uh, They're making a car gear knob. They came up with a pretty basic idea and I suggested various various options, domes, fancy shapes into it, and they, but they, had, they did have the idea to customise. The reason I did that was to uh, push them, make them think more, 
So they weren't just thinking, oh, we'll do, do a plain gear knob and leave it at that. You know, sort of push them to think, how can we improve it? Um, what will make it better? What will make it more attractive? And can you give us a little teaser as to what your students have come up with? Uh, no, I don't think I can. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've got a design and a product um, that we think we're going to sell. Um, they're looking at uh, what market they're going to go to, whether it's going to be mass production or whether they're going to make it for very bespoke people and a very bespoke uh, audience. They're very keen, they all, they all, they're all doing lots of different things. Some are electricians and some are mechanical and some are designing. They're all coming together and helping each other and coming up with some good ideas and, and developing a new program. They're looking at a, um, a telephone or mobile phone holder. So um, it's got a big, big uh, market for that and hopefully they'll win, so. So we've come up with an idea. We've designed a tool holding solution. Uh, we've got some drawings on paper. We've got some rough ideas. We just need to finalize that and then get into the CAD room. I've just seen some really good communication, some really good ideas, some back and forth. It's been really interesting. Yeah, just coming up with uh, ways we can make the part more aesthetic, ways we can make it more functional, more practical, and ultimately what the part might sell for. It's been really exciting to work with this team. Just to fill you in with where we're at now, so the students have all kind of designed their concept and behind me, James is talking to them about their pitch and giving them some advice on presentations as to how to accommodate the room and kind of explain what their ideas are in a really clear and memorable fashion. So what's happening inside here, Matt? In this design of the process, they're changing, they're actually designing, they're drawing their part and they're adding speeds and fees because we're actually going to make a part. So as one of the team that wins, we're going to take one of their programs and we're physically going to cut it. So they're physically designing and manufacturing their part. And what level are you seeing these students working to at the moment? Very good. Some, some, of, some of the lads in there or, or girls in there, they're designing at a level which I see in everyday production environments. They're that good. They're, they're progressing through really well. Any winners in there? I can't say. Too, e too early to tell. So Ben, we started upstairs and that was concept. So where are we now? So we're down here in the machine shop. We're taking time to show the students around the machines. We're having a chat about the machine, its capabilities. Then we're walking them through talking about work holding with Tame and we're also talking about tooling with MA Ford. So Barney, where are you in part of the process so far? So what we've done is we've got our general design and that. We've sorted out the kind of general idea, what we're wanting to do. And we've got two guys at the moment up on Fusion doing the designs for the CAD and CAM of it and all the tool pathing, things like that. And when that's done, we're going to bring the designs down here, probably put it into a CNC machine or code it manually and have a look at making it. So. And are you allowed to give away anything as to what your idea is or just keep it light? Well, I can give something away. So yeah, like say if you're in a car crash or something and you need to get out quickly, but the doors are stuck, something like that. It's a little window breaker basically. So it's spring loaded, goes in the top corner. And as you pull it and release it, it should hopefully pierce the glass and shatter it so you can get out the window if you need to. What excites you about creating products, you know, engineering, creating new ideas like you are doing today? Mostly the process, to be honest. So it's the technical thinking of it and how you're going to get about doing it, what you're going to do to get the, this basically block of aluminium into what you want in it to be. So the design and machining of it is the main thing. And then final product's always nice, but I prefer the process. I've been doing this course for two years now, almost. Um, but today it's been like a more in-depth look of things that I've already done. So like, um, like cutting tools and things like that. Um, I've actually, I've, I've been hands-on with them before, but like in these kind of machines and um, like people coming in from the industry, um, it show, it's like a different perspective. Um, Cause obviously I'm just a student, but they've been doing it for years. Uh, and it's like, it's intriguing to see their point of view. Like there's, it's vast, you know, you, you can be in the, the industry for years, for a long time. 